Wendell and Mary Margaret work very well together. And I think what makes them so strong is they have different perspectives, different life experiences, and, and oftentimes different political leanings on, on many issues. But the one thing they clearly share is an interest and in, in deep abiding desire to make it better for Georgia's youth. I think it's important uh, to have um, legislators who are willing uh, to work with the other party to do what's right, to, to do what the citizens of this state expect of them. They understand that it's important to build relationships uh, across the aisle. Uh, that's a quality that's becoming a little too rare these days. Very few things we handle, frankly, come down to a partisan approach. There are those, and we'll have divided houses about that, but uh, a lot of what we do from a policy standpoint is not really divided by politics. Partisan discussions usually are not as effective. They're usually not as productive as a real policy analysis based on facts, views, and what people care about. Mary Margaret is issue driven, and so I think she sees the issue as what it should be getting the recognition, not necessarily her. She's got such a sharp mind, and so she's one of those people that you seek out because you want to think about it from all different angles. When Mary Margaret sets her mind on an issue, you know that she's going to stay there. I respect her very much for that. It's victories that are hard to achieve are based on hard work, patience, and the right amount of commitment that comes at the right time. She's got a great phrase that I adore, the tyranny of competence. How do you master all these things? And she's also a person that spends a lot of time taking a look at the words and making sure that they make sense, leading into whatever the pieces of legislation were. And she will reverse course or tinker with it or change it if we can't get it right the first time. There's no pride with that. It was just, it's all about getting it right for children. Mary Margaret's commitment to social justice means in a broader way other than the legal thing that everybody does have a chance, everybody does deserve a voice. I think about justice as a value a lot, particularly the value of justice for children. It is something that we can do better, we can work harder, we can be more focused. As a woman, you understand that you come into a space very differently than a man does. But what Mary Margaret has taught all of us is that we can transform that space simply by being the best person we can be. She's unstoppable. She really has never met a challenge that she wouldn't take on, if it's something that she's passionate about. Well, isn't she the whole package? She's got it all. I mean, the brains the personality, the drive. There's a, a happiness that she has about the world that she's helped create in Georgia. And for me, that's the thing that, that made me want to be a legislator. Votes matter. Who gets elected matters. What they choose to focus on, what they choose to do, how they vote matters. These laws impact people's lives. Thank heaven she's still working for children in this state. When the Oz awarded the Tin Man his his uh, heart, it's not how much you love, but how much you are loved by others. And I think that sentiment is expressed in the way she carries her legislation and the way she acts in life. Mary Margaret and I are as close as two individuals in legislature today as you can find. Uh, <clears throat> we're free to talk to each other about issues and uh, if she's got something that uh, she's concerned about going on, she'll come talk to me and vice versa. She is a very good friend and I enjoy my relationship with Mary Margaret very dearly. He's a star and I love the fact that he surprises me frequently about what he cares about. I think that's great. His attention, his focus, the quality of work he does because he cares is rewarding. I've observed Wendell's passion and, and just it's a special interest for those who need help or can't help themselves uh, or, or where a system has, has failed. His belief is that every voice counts and he was going to make decisions and lead that committee to make choices not based on whose voice was the loudest or whose ideas were the most salient for his party but based on what he thought the right thing to do was. I guess what, what I look at doing mostly is uh, seeing if we got a problem, 
how can we find a solution and work toward that goal and getting as best we can a uh, consensus among the people that are involved with it. He's a serious legislator. You know, he's gracious, he's charming, he's all those things, but he, he takes on serious issues of consequence. It's important to him to have a product that he's proud of, that the legislature can be proud of, and that can withstand constitutional challenge. He is determined to do what's right, not what's expedient, not what's popular, but he is willing to take on difficult challenges and do what's right. Wendell is uh, very persistent in uh, his work in the, uh, in the legislative body. He's also one of the most honest members. Uh, uh, Wendell just calls it like he sees it. Real leadership is telling your troops you're gonna take them to hell and back and they look forward to the trip. Well, on judiciary, let me tell you, <laughs> Wendell's taken us there and back many times, and we look forward to the trip because there's always something that is going to help the people of the state of Georgia. I try very hard to uh, be a person they can trust. I don't want to ever say anything to somebody that I can't back up and uh, or give them the truthful answer so that uh, they know they can depend on what I'm telling them. Wendell's one of those people, uh, you can take his word to the bank. He says what he means, even when it's not always comfortable, and he, he absolutely means what he says, and you see it in his legislation. He is able to see a nuance to Georgia. He is able to see the black, the white, the gray, and all the unintended consequences that can come about. What we're trying to do is look at who are the really helpless in our society and uh, provide steps that will protect them. It's never about Wendell Willard. It's about the people of the state of Georgia. This man can take, he just doesn't have an ego. I mean, he is really in public service for the right reasons. And his passion is children. We have some young people come to us who have been brought up through the uh, foster care system. We sat there and heard the stories. I get a little teary out about it. <clears throat> we heard the stories and I felt, you know, God, that's a shame. We fail these people, these children. We should let that happen. So if I say anything, as I said to those children, on behalf of the people of Georgia, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we failed you, but we did. I think that we have a lot of children who are in danger in our society every day. It's foreign to most of us that children live in fear. It's foreign to most of us that their lives are scary. There are a lot of people who don't think there are remedies to help some families. And I think their social policy discussion is about remedies. Children are nonpartisan. In politics, it's very easy to get caught up in what's the most current debate or even the polemical nature of being on opposite sides of the aisle. But true leadership at the Capitol is shown when you are willing to put aside your label or your legacy in order to serve children. And what I've seen from Mary Margaret and from Wendell is a willingness to step up and to not wait for their party to agree, but to lead their party towards the right answer. Trust is a, a commodity that uh is very, very relevant to what we do as legislators. Uh, we're there for 40 days. Things happen at an uh, unbelievably quick pace. And uh, if, you, if you breach that trust, it, it goes on with you forever. It's important to all of us to have those kinds of leaders. We, if we could have everyone fill those shoes, it would be a better state for sure. But I think the thing that we've got to be sure is we leave a heritage of improvement in the way we have uh, handled what I call children in trouble and troubled children. I think that uh, our future in Georgia was promise, and we have to commit ourselves to that promise.